There are many different indicators that are used to measure wealth and development. I will focus on four key single index measurements, infant mortality, literacy rates, educational expenditure, and gross domestic product per capita, GDP. I'm going to compare different countries around the world with a focus on the IB core countries of India, China, Brazil, USA, France, and Niger. Infant mortality is defined as the number of infant deaths that are children under one year old for 1,000 live births in the same year. From this simulation, we can see that the number is far higher across Africa, the Middle East, and some parts of South Asia. For example, in Niger in Central Africa, um, the infant mortality is 115.42 deaths per 1,000 live births in the same year. This is largely due to malnutrition, poor health care, and the high risk of deadly diseases such as malaria. On the other hand, in France, in Western Europe, this rate is, only, is just 3.36, among the lowest in the world. This is due to very good health care, which is the result of France being a very well-developed country. In China, on the other hand, as it is still developing rapidly, its infant mortality rate is 21.16, but this is falling each year as the country's health care improves and the country develops. Literacy rate is another indicator which shows a country's development, particularly that of its education system. The percentage of people who are classed as literate, which is normally classed as people who that can read and write above a spe specified age, usually 15. We can see that in Europe, um, the Americas, and much of South America and Eastern Asia, that this rate is higher whereas in Africa, the rate is significantly lower. For example, France has a literacy rate of 99% due to its compulsory primary school education. On the contrary, Niger has a literacy rate of just 28.7% due to the poverty and lack of access to education. India, on the other hand, is a rapidly developing country, and it has a literacy rate of 61% but this has increased um, rapidly over the past years as it pushes to reach development. Educational expenditure is a percentage of GDP that is spent on the public expenditure on education. This is an important indicator when assessing future development. This is quite an interesting data set as countries with very high GDP sometimes have a lower percentage even if they still spend adequate money on education. China, for example, is a good example as it has an education expenditure of just 1.9%, which seems very low, but China has such a high GDP that there is still quite a lot of money being spent on education. On the other hand, this is quite low when compared to the United States, which has an education expenditure of 5.3% of the GDP, and the GDP is, overall GDP is similar to that of China, and it does have a population that's far smaller, so it shows that the USA is spending a lot more money on education than China which probably contributes to the high literacy rate. Brazil, in South America, has an educational expenditure of 4% of the GDP, which shows its efforts to increase its uh, educational attainment and literacy rate in order to develop from a developing country into a developed country. Gross domestic product per capita, GDP, purchasing power parity is the total value of all products and services produced within the borders of a country on purchasing power parity basis divided by the population and measured in US dollars. It quite clearly shows that most developed nations are found. So we can see here that Europe, some parts of the Middle East, Eastern Asia, Oceania and North America are among the richest compared to South America and in particular Africa, which are among the poorest. For example, France in Europe has a GDP per capita of 32,600 US dollars and the North and the United States of 45,800 US dollars, which is very different to that of Niger in Central Africa, which has a GDP per capita of just 700 US dollars, and among the least development countries in the world. India has a GDP per capita of 2,600 US dollars, which is still extremely low, although it is a developing country and this continues to rise.